Well, I'll tell you, you know, at the time, I, I didn't come from a news background at that point. You know, I had worked uh, at for Major League Baseball production, so I, I had a sports background as well. And the way, uh, you know, I was hired is I worked on a show that uh, MLB Productions had produced. It was that uh, the WWF had seen, and, and then I was given the opportunity to audition. And, uh, you know, going in there, you know, Vince liked what I did in front of a camera I uh, you know got through the audition and you you know how many hundreds of people you know are, are wanting to get those positions so I think he, he uh, you know liked what I did but I don't think they knew what the heck to do with me and um, when I got there so they had me you know filling in at different places and Craig DeGeorge George at the time was getting ready to leave and uh, they had just started that event center Gene didn't really want to do that because it was so intensive. I mean, if you think about it, we used to customize markets, you know, uh, on average of, say, 90 markets a week because, you know, you were you were building up these shows three weeks prior. So, you know, I'd say three weeks from tonight at the Rosemont Horizon, you know, I saw Jim Duggan taking on Yokozuna. Well, I would do that for every single market. And uh, it was, you know, I, it would take me usually four days through the week, you know, eight plus hours a day in front of a camera uh, doing those markets and if somebody got hurt you'd get the phone call I had a big red phone on this desk and they'd call me and tell me you know uh, you know berserker got hurt or you know somebody and, and if they were on a card you had to redo every one of those markets he was in so it was it was really intense but you think about it, like what a brilliant uh, idea that was to do it that way because we were able to customize every single market and Gene uh, you know, gave me a tip early on. He said, you know, when you go to these cities, uh, you know, it's not like you get on the Internet like you can today and, you know, go look up pl local places. You know, I had maps and stuff. But when I went to a city, I would pay attention to what was around the arena, a bar or, you know, or somebody had a friend there. They'd tell me that person's name. And then remember, I would come on and they'd say, hey, you know, I want to see, uh, you know, Bill Johnson, who lives over there on the south side. You make sure you're there because I'm going to be looking for you. And people would be like, how does he know this? He's like talking to people there. Where I'm gonna, you know, don't miss uh, all you guys that hang out over at the uh, the Loose Lady Bar. You better be heading over to the, you know, whatever the arena was. And it was a way to really customize it. You couldn't do it today because, you know, they literally sent videotapes to markets, every single one of them. And now, you know, they, they don't have it that way. Everything is uh, digital, and and you, you couldn't do it that way for each market. So it's, it was a it was a great uh, marketing plan, and they were able to do that on a grand scale, and I think that's also what helped blow it up. Now, how about